My name is Emma Harris. We are the people. What? We got a story. What? To tell the whole wide world. This is people's territory. How old are you? Well, I'm 89. Whose house? Miss Harris' house. Whose house? Miss Harris' house. Whose house? Miss Harris' house. I bought one building in 1980, bought the other one at 89 next door. I bought this one for thirty-six thousand. Bought the one next door for a hundred and ten thousand. What did I do with that picture? And uh, some of the apartments we had to do over again, or make them, you know, more modern. Mm -hmm. And we spent a lot of money in this, in the two buildings. My husband passed away, and after my husband passed away, then I started having uh, problems with the property. He died in 95, okay. and then I went into foreclosure in 04. So that's when I went into uh, foreclosure because of loss of my husband and not having really anybody to help me. Even though I was retired, I still had enough retirement to help out on the mortgage. I, I had to refinance. You refinanced? Mm hmm With mm -hmm. the Harris Bank. And I had no one with me, just the clerk and I. The made out the mortgage, and I signed all the papers she told me to sign. We did things wrong on the mortgage. The mortgage that I got for three years was predatory mm -hmm. because we had to lie about it. We had to lie about the rents we were collecting, and that meant that the payments were, <clears throat> the rents didn't cover the payments. What happened? My whole, everything. I had furniture all in here. I had valuable pictures. Everything is beautiful out of here. Everything, all my clothes. Jewelry, I have five thousand dollars of jewelry work. Everything is gone, Jr. Everything. We pull permits to do to do the work uh, in the building. Um, last Friday, guys that were in the property, unauthorized by me, clearly threw some things out. It was not again not authorized by me. How did they gain access to the unit? Who's talking to you? They gained access through a 48-hour notice for plumbing repairs. Okay. <laughs> and they threw all of her belongings out. You got to go back, back before Judge Garber. You do know that now, right? I'm happy to. I know. You think it's civil. We're going to ensure that the state's attorney pursue criminal charges. She didn't want to take cash for key. He did an illegal eviction. They're going to trump it up by $3,000 or $4,000 more dollars. No, you're going to be charged with criminal damage to private property. That's what you're going to be charged with. And I will, I will put the strength of a whole human rights movement in this country behind it. She's been trying to find a way to hold on to her home. She's been cheated by lawyers. She's been cheated by property managers. And she's here because Harris Bank is not only foreclosed on her, not only have they auctioned off her home, but they, in 
instead of giving her an opportunity to buy back her home, they've now put her in a situation where um, they quick claim the home or in the process of quick claiming the home to a third party. They didn't even give her the opportunity to try and make an attempt to buy back her home. What do we think of that? Ooh. What do we think of that? Miss Harris House! Miss Harris House! Miss Harris House! Miss Harris House! We are here, we are here because, because Harris Bank Harris has defrauded an 89 year old lady from the Woodlawn community out of her home. Don't Harris, we marched on Harris one time, we want to march on him again. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday! Happy birthday to you! This is Harris. Okay, this is Harris. You cut it, you eat it. Yeah. Are you kidding? I can't. I can't. Happy birthday, Miss Harris! At 90 years old, she earned the right to still be here. That's right. right. She does. She earned the right to still be here. Don't she worked hard all her life right. just for somebody to come and scoop something up. That's wrong. That's it's wrong. And, and I've been on this block for about 15 years, and Miss Harris always was a good landlord, just up to my knowing. And I just hate that you have to go through something like this. You know, it's really terrible. Especially, you know, on her 90th birthday, all I have to do is say God bless her. And I wish her the best of luck. I'm going to stand behind her. I'll be there with her. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Y'all have a blessed one, too.